Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we are going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout featuring the Sweet Memories collection by Close to My Heart. That is the featured collection for 2024. Sorry about that. I feel like I can't catch my breath. I don't know what the heck. You can see right here I am starting out pulling off some of the stickers off of the sticker sheet. I'm using that anti-static pouch to go ahead and just put the powder on the back of it so that the stickers aren't sticky anymore so that I can move them around the page and see where I want them. So I am just picking off, you know, several of them that I think I might want to use. Now this paper right here, I do love this paper so much. I do end up using a piece. It's a smaller piece than what I originally thought I was going to use. I knew when I used this page that I wanted to save that cluster over on the side because I wanted to fussy cut that out for at some point for a future later. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I remember when I did the haul, I told you all that, that I was going to end up fussy cutting that out of one paper one paper and I did just not for this one on the opposite side there are all of there are cameras <laughs> the paper on the opposite side is a camera paper so I fussy cut out a lot of um cameras several different cameras right there and here I'm going to trim down a periwinkle paper now I made that grid paper in the periwinkle the same side I thought I'd have or the same size I thought I'd have them sitting side by side on my layout which I do not end up going for that background paper you see right there is a mink and I do believe that is part of the mix and paper pack in the catalog for January to February it is so cool now here is where I decided yeah that's way too big so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down which is perfect for me because I love making layouts out of like more scrappy type pieces that are you know scraps right so you know it worked out for me to cut them up but there was a time I would have been annoyed that I messed that up so bad. Right here, I am trying to still figure out what I'm going to do. It does not end up looking anything like this, um, <laughs> but I am going to play around these, with these papers. Now, when I showed the hero, the hero paper, one side of the hero paper is like text and just images all like mashed together. Really, really cool looking. Um, I do end up... <clears throat> On that side, there are some viewfinders, and I do end up pulling out a circle die just to cut out those viewfinders, which was another thing I said I thought I might do. So you can see right there how I cut those two bigger papers down. They were supposed to be side by side is how my original layout was planned in my head, right? Why well, I'd cut them down. Now they're just going to be like layering mats behind my photo. This right here, the hero paper is what I was talking about. This one, when I first showed this paper, I did say, I'm going to cut those viewfinders out, which I did end up doing. So you can see right here, I do lay a strip of that down. I do have a strip of the periwinkle, and I left the zip strip on that. I thought that was really cute. And here is my title piece. It's going to be a day to remember. We're going to go ahead and tack that over in the right-hand corner and create a little layer cluster or a little cluster over here using um, one of those viewfinders. I want to put the other viewfinder on this page too. There was one more I could have cut out, but I didn't. And now I'm a little bit sad because, spoiler alert, I have I think I'm done playing with this collection. Um, I got the paper pack and this sticker sheet. That's all I got from this collection. And then I added some mix in papers and also I added like a couple things from my stash you know but yeah I did four layouts and now I think I'm done playing with this for the month we're going to move on to other stuff I've got a lot of things because I've been so lax lately in scrapbooking so I've got so many things that are older type collections that I have not had a chance to play with but I want to play with still so yeah I'm going to break into some of those while I'm waiting for my new stuff to come in right so you can see right here, I did build that cluster up there at the top. That consists of one of the viewfinders that I cut out with a die and one of the fussy cut cameras as well as kind of, a, oh, it's not kind of, it is a sage colored camera. I'm going to tuck that up at the top as well. We are giving our photo a border with some white cardstock. See, that's really cute, right? I love that. Right here, I did pull out the mist ink and I am going to be inking everything in mist. Now those two strips of paper, I only ink one edge at like where those pieces the strips that go up and down meet I don't ink that ideally I would have liked that to have been flush or maybe found a, a border strip that I liked to put there or something 
but I didn't find anything. So it's just a seam and I didn't really want to draw your eye to that. So I did not ink that, but everything else on here, I do end up inking. Super cute. Let's go ahead and commit to this, this, um, cluster down here with our key that key is so cute on that came off of the sticker sheet and there's also a little lock on there which I should have pulled the lock off and probably tucked it right here <laughs> where I'm tucking that camera and I didn't I, that's one of the very few stickers that I didn't use off that sticker sheet so we're going to go ahead and commit to this cluster up here at the top right of the photo as well. I do have this um, camera. Well, like I said, I have a fussy cut cam two fussy cut cameras. One's off the camera paper. One's off the here sheet. And I have a word phrase that says, remember this. And then I have that viewfinder. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stick those pieces down right there. Attach our little layering pieces behind our photo. It really does, guys. I, I can actually cut quite a bit out of this. It really does take me quite a bit of time to figure out exactly where I want to put the things. I know it's ridiculous. I spend way too much time on it. I keep having to remind myself, you know, hey, it's just scrapbooking. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I guess you just kind of like what you like, right? So I'm going to go ahead and tuck this sage, which I really like this green color. It's so nice. It's it's uh, the close to my heart color is called sage. Um, I don't know what you call it in like regular everybody else's language. <laughs> but that is sage, okay? So we're going to go ahead and stick that down. Our little uh, phrase sticker that says, remember this, we're going to pop that up on some foam tape. I think I did that in the last video I did. You see how I just pulled up a corner of that um, viewfinder and tacked it down. It's because I just liked where it was. And a lot of times, guys, you just can't get it back down to the same spot. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down right about here. I was trying to decide, do I did I want the edge of that camera to go over the photo? Or did I want the edge of that camera to go under the photo? I know it's something little and small, but hey, big decisions. I am um, going to have it a little bit over the photo right here. This is going to be on foam tape, like I said. After we commit to that, guys, I'm going to do something. I'm going to pull a product out that I haven't used in forever. It's the Liquid Pearls. Now, I've been recently just trying to you know, get rid of stuff, go through stuff, clean stuff up. I am so overwhelmed with my surroundings right now. It's unbelievable. So I found these liquid pearls, right? I'm going to go ahead and keep these. Um, these are in the color sage. <laughs> I'm going to go put these down on the beds. Now, I hardly ever use these. And when I do use them, I like to use them through stencils. So this is one of the very few, few times I've actually used them as dots. I was really concerned about it because you can see there's peaks on them. However, it's in front of me right now. And when they dried and settled down, they did actually settle down. They're peaked up a little bit, but not like they were before they dried. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, um, if you'd like to support my channel, go to BeckyBitty.CloseToMyHeart.com. Bye, guys.